Hi, this is Ben Shelton from the Soulless Dogs in Durham, North Carolina, and today I'm going to show you how to play some interesting chord voicings by Phil Miller, one of the most underrated guitar players out there. He did a stint with Hatfield in the North, was a guitar player in National Health, and then played around with his own band that does his own compositions. What's interesting about him is the way he manages to play close voice chords like a piano player might play with a lot of major and minor seconds, you know, close intervals inside of them. But he manages to do it on the guitar with unique chord voicings and open strings. So these are a few chords from a tune of his. Well, it's actually Richard Sinclair's tune, but this is his part on it. It's called Let's Eat Real Soon. So I'll play it for you here. <laughs> So now that you've heard it, uh, that's off of Hatfield and the North's uh, self-titled first record. But the first chord here is just a regular F major, the root on the bottom. Then the next chord is an interesting one because we're going to take a C chord, right? You know your C, you just bar across here. But what we're going to do is take these three notes in the middle, one, three, five, put the third on the bottom, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and move the third up to the fourth. You'll notice that interval of the major second between the fourth and the fifth inside of that chord. And the third's on the bottom. So this is a pretty cool chord. It's actually named C sus4 over E. So and that's just a D minor seven chord with the root, the seventh, and the minor third on top, just the shell voicing. And then this is going to be that same F major chord, only with the fifth in the bass, so it's F major over C. Then this chord's interesting, this guy. This is actually called an add two chord. Steely Dan terms it the mu major chord, because what you do is you take a major chord and you add a second to it, which creates a little bit of color because of the close voicing between the first, the second, and the third in the chord. So how we make that is you just take your regular G major chord and we're going to move the root up to the second and cover that right there with our pinky figure. So there you go. So then we're going to play that same chord up here for the C. So now we do the same progression over again. Only this time we have a different chord down here. Now this is an interesting one. Remember how we took the same G chord? We're going to take these three middle notes, one, three, five. We're going to stick the third on the bottom. So we end up with G over B. And then what we're going to do is play this open string we have on top which is actually an E, which is the sixth relative to the chord. So we end up with a G6 over B for the chord. And again, it's that close voiced interval on top, that major second, that makes that sound of the chord and makes it sound so full like that. And then so then we're going to go from here back to here again. And then we're going to go to a D minor 7. And then the next one is interesting. It's an A minor chord. It's actually an A minor 9, but what's interesting in how it's voiced, you get that minor second between the ninth and the flat third that really creates the color of that chord. So the way we do this, open A string, 5th fret, 5th fret, open and fifth fret so like this so then the next chord we're going to go to is that same 
mu major or add two chord, only this is going to be an E flat in a slightly different voicing. So we're going to play E flat, and then we're going to move this root note up to the ninth. So we go. So we're going to go from here to this chord, which is the middle notes one three five from B flat, but with an E in the ba or an E flat in the bass. So we go. And then we're going to play B flat, add two chord. So then we're going to go back and do the same thing. But we're going to play a different chord here now. So this is interesting. Now, if you've noticed how I play it, you bar across at the fifth fret, and it's got a B flat on the bottom, then the third. major 9 chord, which is an interesting voicing. You don't hear that one very often. And you've got to contort your fingers a little bit to play it. Or if you don't want to get that root note, you can just play it like this, rootless, and assume the bass player is going to cover the B flat on the root. So to recap, we'll play it again and then give it a try. You know, there's some interesting voicings in there that you might not find anywhere else. Lesson. Again, this is Ben Shelton with the Soulless Dogs Band. And if you enjoyed what you heard, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I'll be posting more interesting videos like this coming up. Thanks, and have a great one.